He's so mad. He's, he's crazy. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Super Cooper Sunday. We are here. We are in the office and we are going to be doing another reacting to videos on our phones. Today's theme for videos on our phones, behind the scenes videos nobody has seen, is you guys know we're going through a house renovation and we're almost there. We're, we're getting so really close really close now the hurricane set us back a little bit if you guys saw that vlog we've got some damage that yeah. ruined some things that we had already done and spent a lot of money on which sucks and then we also have the outside but the inside is just about finished we need to get some furniture and some artwork and things like yes. that but it's just about done so we figured it would be fun to do kind of like a pet's reaction to the renovation process show you guys some behind the scenes it, it could also be taken as a current Day in the life with all of the construction reactions. We, we still have a little bit going on. Hopefully one day, like my goal is one day to do like a final reveal. Cooper's and Coda's and Bella's new house. But I don't know if that's ever gonna come. We'll see we'll what happens. See. Hopefully no more storms. So starting off, let's just look at pets reactions to men and construction equipment around the house. <laughs> Jump in over the couch. His tail's wagging. He's not scary. He's on the couch to hide. This was like one of the first things we did. Notice our fence is gone in between our house and our neighbor's house. And we're taking down the tree that used to be there. It was rotting. It was falling apart. It was about to fall on the houses. So we took it out and Coop is... <laughs> He's scared of it. <laughs> That's enough. Coopy, that's enough. That's enough. Stop. <laughs> This is what we deal with. Where is Coda during this? Probably just lounging. Probably chilling. He's probably like, dude, <laughs> I'm sure this wasn't the first bark of this day. No. I, I'm, I'm sure Coda had barked at it a few times well, and decided it wasn't gone. worth it. Now, Coda runs security, okay? Yes. For the most part, he's been really, really good. He loves up on the workers and things when they're in the house. Yeah. Cooper's a little bit more, you know, spastic and things. And don't let us fool you. So is Bella. Bella has always been so involved with everything here she is just staring down the painter she loves construction people she just does and koda's cool like koda will be like who are you they come in they say hi he goes and lays down he'll monitor them coming and going but he stays cooper's all over them and bella's on their heels just watching like from a distance <laughs> but not too far like five feet away just watching we had more videos of it i was trying to find them we couldn't find them but she like she actually ended up getting hurt which you guys will see some videos from behind that because she was following them around and getting so close to the equipment and stuff which we felt really bad about but um oh here's another cooper oh this one's good i would like to point out that there is another dog skip is sound asleep <laughs> on my lap <laughs> don't you feel really protected when he's not at doing all that? that was another piece of construction equipment he on the side yard comfortable doing that because he's up on me he's so tough with his head on his halloween pillow <laughs> look at him just posted up now this is an example of some of the chaos and you might have seen our bedroom in the last clip everything was has just been out of sorts for like yes. four or five months cooper would get no. his toys out and leave them around the house and then and we'd have to butt off the wall <laughs> <laughs> well look at it <laughs> he's literally gonna leave a mark on the wall we would need to clean cooper's toys up that he was playing with for workers to go around he's crying Could about the oreo That's fan mail. Cooper! <gasps> no! Bad boy! Or two. <laughs> Look at all the toys he has. He's tripping on a toy trying to get an Oreo toy. I love that you recorded this instead of giving it to him. He could have gotten it. Oh, what's he got? Oh, this is a different toy. He needs but all of his toys but off that's the pile. Not the one he, he didn't want that one. See. Look at the piles of trash out front. I'm glad we're at least past this stage. Me too. This is rough. Hopefully we never go back to this. Oh, can you rewind that? What? There's a little bit of chaos right there. She peed in that basket. <laughs> oh my god. Did she really? <laughs> yes. In the midst of all of this, she's sitting there. I forgot about this. She's sitting there. You were gone. 
Yeah. You were at a, a bachelor party and she was mad because you had not come home and she peed in that basket and she had sat back and was staring at me to see if I was going to notice. So they're both being bad. <laughs> I do feel bad for that. Like I genuinely feel bad. I mean, we were stressed at having our entire lives torn apart and imagine like they don't understand. No, he's just being self-centered. He's going to get to that Oreo. Get down. He could have got that there. I feel like he's being <laughs> he, dramatic. He, the whole thing was dramatic. He could. He never even tried to get it. I just want you to notice. We're crying for this Oreo. Look behind him, right? <laughs> right there. Right there. That's an Oreo. He's <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> he's so... Just, it's, that's Cooper in a <laughs> nutshell now. i supposed to be in this room right now because there's a hole in the wall, which means she hasn't been, right? This is my office we're in right now. This is the corner we're sitting in. <laughs> Look how bad that cat. Now I say that we feel bad, but this was like Bella's hmm. best couple weeks oh, ever. She, she was loved having it. a grand time. And the reason she got hurt is because she was everywhere she wasn't supposed to be. She was in that room because she opened the door so and let herself in. We're still yep. under construction. Uh, here, this was like when they were painting the ceilings. Here because Bella keeps hiding under there and we can't find her. So he's like, I'm going to put these pillows here. Then she can't lay there anymore. It's not an issue. <laughs> <laughs> I said you to make her a bed in her new favorite spot. <laughs> like she loved this. There were like these stinky... Uh, men so that were all that. around the house all day and she could follow them around there were all these places where she could climb and hide this is in that same office that with the paw prints she had locked herself in now all of this ends up Baby. in a cast girl we're still not sure why she's purring it happened on a day when we had a scissor she lift in the to house go. And it was like probably the busiest day of the construction. Look at her. She she's okay? still all over the place, completely unbothered. It's your same sister. I know she smells weird. She was just at the vet all day. She's still waking up from her anesthesia. Coda was not happy with it. I think what happened is I think she was on the rug and I think her nail. She's going to use it as a club to beat him. I think her nail was. It's okay, Coda. You worried about your sister? <laughs> she's trying to shake the cast off. I think her nail was caught in a, a rug and I think something spooked her and she tried to run and it like broke her finger. She's cute. Look at her little heart. Our vet's the best. That's <laughs> cute. Also, for those of you guys who don't know, she was under anesthesia because she wouldn't be nice enough to get the cast put on, and they still put the heart on the cast. But it didn't hey, stop her. What are you doing? This is the, literally like day get three. Get there. Shoo. Bad girl. Still just getting don't into everything she can. <laughs> You're bad. Ooh. You better watch out. Oh, well. She swung at Coda a lot. Nothing scarier than a cat with an orange slice around her neck. <laughs> the thing is, is Coda was really concerned for her, and it was like you could Fair, tell. Are you happy? You could tell that he like was feeling for her and like just confused as to what was wrong with her, and she would just beat him with her club. Yeah, he just—he's a nice guy, he and she's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there is to it. Now our inside was a mess. And as you guys saw in the first couple of clips, so was our outside. One of the biggest things is our fence was taken down between our house and the house next to us, Alex and Tina's house. And that's okay because honestly our pets always loved going over there anyway and we took them over there all the time they're really good friends but not having that barrier completely changed the game as you're gonna see pets just went absolutely wild Bella get inside <laughs> Coda was just letting himself over to the neighbor's house introducing himself to the cats at any point that he wanted Cooper was going over with Tina and Chelsea feeding the fish constantly they had a golden retriever puppy over there. So cute. This just about melted our hearts. Look at this. Should we get one? Oh, he was going in. He did go in. I think we cut the recording, but Cooper went in and got wet that day and he taught Leo kind of how to swim or just, you know, bounce around in the water. I think we should get one. I would love to get one. So maybe something we can think about in the future when the house and everything is done. Now, this is probably my get favorite. Dakota, go home. Dakota, go home. <laughs> 
so the story behind this one. You lost your mind. You want to tell them? They couldn't be trusted to go in the backyard because every time they did, they would go over to the neighbor's house or Cooper would get in the lake. So or Carter would drink the lake. You guys know he yeah. loves his water. So instead of constantly bugging everybody else, we went out front and Dakota just decided I don't have to listen no matter where I am. This was literally the first night that he went out out front. We were like, all right, we can't do out back anymore. Cause typically like our, our routine was to just set them out back, open the door, let them go. And then they'd come back inside. But yeah. with the fence gone, it was just chaos. So he's literally having a party. And this was how it was for a few days. Like they were both so excited to be out front because they don't go out front. Now, of course, with all of this, it was just really exhausting. And we tried our best at the end of the day to just kind of have nice wind down times. You guys know Coop loves his movies. It's Twilight. <laughs> yes. He's taking Look at Bella. It so seriously. We're going to get a copyright strike here. But yeah, everyone was just tired all the time. And there were nights, like there was a night that we slept downstairs in the, the living room. There was a night that we slept in the downstairs guest bedroom. <laughs> this is great. I thought I'd film one of those funny videos where you like wake your dog up with a treat. Plot twist, he never woke up. I had to do this like multiple times. <laughs> This is like me restarting the video. Here, let's try this again. <laughs> Get more surface area in front of it. Okay, time to restart again. I don't know if this is more embarrassing for him or you at this point. I had never seen him knocked out this hard. Typically he's pretty alert, but it's just with people in and out all day long, like his watch had ended and he was just sleeping. I've got it inside his nostril at this point. You're like tickling him with it. Oh, there he is. He still hasn't, his eye opened, but he still hasn't comprehended. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh. Brain's awake. Oh. And it's a treat. Thank you. So appreciative. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fell asleep looking at the love of his life. Fell asleep on top of the love of his life, the second love of his life. <laughs> <laughs> he fell asleep with his eyes like halfway open it looks kind of gross sorry about that but we just thought this was really cute and last but not least this was the night we spent in the guest bedroom <laughs> come on He's not thrilled. <laughs> this might be the cutest video I've ever taken of the two of them. That's a good brother. I have never seen her let him touch her like this. Look, look at her face. <laughs> so there you guys have it. Just kind of a little behind the scenes. We're almost through it. We're almost there. We'll, we'll get through it. I, I, I can't wait for like, hopefully next summer, we'll have Cooper and Coda's first barbecue with their outdoor kitchen and first big... I, I don't even know. Hopefully we have some cool surprises coming. We'll see what happens. We'll keep you guys updated. You know what I'm nervous for? Hmm. Cooper's first jump off the seawall. Oh, we We've are putting a seawall in. Our yard has always just gone down and seamlessly blended into the lake, but the lake is eating the yard. So it will be like a wall up from We're the gonna, water. It, depending on like, because the lake water rises and lowers, but it could be like a two or three foot drop. And then he's yeah. just going to plunk into the water. Be kind of fun uh, he's gonna fall so much yeah oh yeah he's gonna love it it's gonna be a lot of fun so hopefully sometime soon we'll see what happens thank you guys so much for watching we will see you guys next week here on super sunday got a, a couple pretty exciting videos coming up we still have coda's birthday it's still coming soon we've just had a lot going on and so. christmas is coming christmas thanksgiving a lot of exciting things so we'll see you guys later drop a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already peace out